Sources have told us that Meghan and Harry are staying in a $20 million mansion in Malibu. Now, this is interesting for a number of reasons. Obviously, Malibu is nicely out of the way. It's not right in the middle of LA. They aren't going to kind of get that very Hollywood, over-the-top lifestyle, which I'm sure the two of them are not looking forward to getting involved in whatsoever. But it's also in an area where it was rumored that Princess Diana was planning to live with Dodie Fayed shortly before they died. Now, we know that Dodie had purchased a property in that very same area, and sources told us Paul Burrell, who was her butler, said at the time that Princess Diana was very much planning to move in with him had their lives not been ended so tragically and so early on. I think Harry and Meghan were very much testing the waters with their stay in Canada. I don't believe that they ever planned to make it their full-time residence, but it was a place that the two of them knew that they could be very isolated from the rest of the world. They could really hunker down and spend time with Archie away from the publicity that they experienced in London. But it always made more sense for the two of them to be in LA at least part of the time. Megan's family is from LA. Her mother, who she's very close to, lives just outside the main kind of Los Angeles city area. And it's also somewhere where the two of them will be able to get a lot of work done. The lifestyle in LA is very much something that Megan buys into. She loves yoga, she loves Pilates. We know that she's very healthy. And I think it would be a really wonderful place to raise a child. You get that beautiful LA sunshine, you get beaches, there's a lot of outdoor activity. It really wouldn't surprise me, however, if they chose further down the line to take a residence in Canada, perhaps not full time, but somewhere that they can go on weekends, somewhere that they can go for holidays and things like that, just to kind of get away from LA and the glitzy glamour situation that they might experience there. We do know, sources have told us that Meghan and Harry are hoping to have a second child. However, the two of them are very conscious about not rushing into it. Obviously, Baby Archie experienced a lot of upheaval in his first 10 months of life. He's moved to many different places. His parents have gone through a major transition. And what we understand from sources close to Meghan and Harry is that the two of them want to get their lives in really good order, get themselves settled into their new home, into their new routines before they think about having a second baby. But yes, we do understand that the two of them would love to give Archie a younger sibling, be it a baby girl or a baby boy, as long as it's healthy. Megan has a very varied set of interests. We know that she really doesn't focus on just one thing at any one time. And her website, The Tig, which she shut down shortly after she announced her engagement to Harry, really did give her an opportunity to get involved with all of those interests. She would talk about everything from fitness and health to food, to wine, to different causes that she was really championing. And I think that doing something similar would give her an opportunity to throw all of those interests back out there into the world. Now, we do know that the company that she set up to run the TIG is still operating. And interestingly, it was actually moved to a different location just days before Harry and Meghan made the announcement that they would be stepping down as senior members of the royal family. So that suggests that they very much had plans in the works for what they're going to do moving forward. I don't think either of them are in a huge rush. So it may not be that we see anything from the TIG or a sister website anytime soon, but I really do think that Meghan is keeping all of her options open. And if she decides that it's something that she has time for, I really don't think it would be surprising to see the TIG relaunched in a kind of even bigger and better way than ever before. Now, with regard to the cookbook, Megan has already worked on one. Now, we know that she loves cooking. She actually said that Harry proposed to her while the two of them were roasting a chicken in their home at Kensington Palace. So the two of them have a very shared love of food and all that it kind of involves, be it the cooking, the eating, the, you know, hanging out with friends around a table. And Megan has also used a cookbook before as a charity venture. When she released her cookbook in 2018, it was to benefit a kitchen of women in London who had been affected by a terrible fire. Now, it wouldn't surprise me if she decided to do something similar in the future. The cookbook was so wildly successful, particularly in the UK. She may well plan a follow-up. And I think that this time around, she'd probably like to get a few of her own recipes thrown in the mix. A lot of the ones that were in the 2018 book were written by the women in this kitchen. So I think Megan would probably love the opportunity to throw a few of her own spices in there into the mix. 
And she's also rumored to be thinking about starting a homeware line. So that would be really, you know, something interesting to see. And I have no doubt that everyone would love to see what Megan's interiors taste is, because obviously we haven't really had that insight into what their home or homes might look like in the future.